you guys know, I am not the biggest fan of Assetto Corsa Competition's force feedback. Now that's not to say its force feedback is completely useless and awful, it's not technically wrong or technically broken. Uh, it does do certain things like the track texture, the suspension, vibrations and movement, uh, tyre flex, especially for understeer, and self-aligning forces, though very lacking in detail, but forces that stop you from losing the back of the car, it does those very aggressively and it, do it does do those things in a way that helps you drive the car um, and for many people they'll probably find it adequate but if you have played Assetto Corsa 1, Automobilista 1, Automobilista 2, Race Room Racing Experience or Live for Speed as you play any of those sims with a nice steering wheel and you use force feedback to help guide yourself to the limit through a range of forces that let you know exactly where the car is towards the limit, over it, on it and under it, well, you will find ACC's force feedback utterly depressing, as I do. <laughs> but with that in mind, recently I got the chance to go to the Virtual Reality Racing Club, VRRC, where they have a AccuForce wheel, a Sim Experience AccuForce wheel, which allows you to replace a set of courses or set of course competition or any driving simulators force feedback for their foundation force feedback. So I'm going to hand things off to past Gamer Muscle at VRRC, where whilst in front of a AccuForce, Sim Experience AccuForce wheel, he explains why all force feedback wheels should have something equivalent to the AccuForce Foundation force feedback because it's amazing or at a minimum all driving simulators should at least have some kind of seat of the pants force feedback option integrated into them fasten your seat belts it's going to be one of those force feedback talkie videos let's go this video was made possible by the virtual reality racing club i have a link to their store where they sell seats pedals sim rings and a whole bunch of other simulator stuff if you use their store, use the code DDGIRL and uh, you will receive a small discount on any orders that you make. Thank you, VRRC, for making this video possible. Let's get on with things. One of the awesome things with the AccuForce wheels, and perhaps the best thing with the AccuForce wheels, is that you not only can use the games force feedback or whatever the whatever sim you're playing's default force feedback is so right now i am driving using a set of course competitions force feedback this basically feels very similar to how it feels like on my fanatec podium dd my osw or when I've played ACC with a CSL Elite. This is a set of course a competition force feedback. Not only can you do that, but you can go to the Sim Experience software, which I've got on the screen on the left here, and you can disable the game force feedback, and you can do things like use foundation force feedback, which for those of you that don't know, basically takes the game's telemetry and generates force feedback from that telemetry, allowing Sim Experience to generate force feedback, meaning that you're no longer hostage or beholden to the developer's completely arbitrary, and in the case of ACC's somewhat bizarre, force feedback choices. So before I go to the uh, foundation force feedback though, what I want to talk about is the lateral G-force force feedback, which again uses the uh, telemetry of the game to generate force feedback and this lateral g4 setting basically does a very similar thing or feels very similar to what you get if you use irffb if you've ever used that with iRacing in the this lateral g force force feedback effectively gives you force counter forces that are in correlation to the amount of g force that you're experiencing from the car in the game and really interestingly as i say this feels very similar to the seat of the pants setting for irffb which utterly transforms i racing um and allows you with acc to immediately get a much better sense of immersion a much better sense of how much load you're driving the cars through the corners how aggressively you're driving the cars through the corners um 
with the, this gets rid of all other force feedback. So all I can feel here is literally uh, like a G-force force feedback that correlates to how much G-load I'm putting on, as I say. Uh, this actually gives you force feedback that's very similar to uh, lift for speed force feedback, which I think is basically, it is actually just seat of the pants force feedback. It's G-force load-based force feedback rather than uh, specific tire stuff, I believe. But I, I have to say, just this G-force thing, from the, scent, from the aspect of if you're someone that uses force feedback to drive from, this is actually, in my opinion, for the most part, better than the <laughs> default ACC for speed back. Um, I've been very fortunate in that recently I've been able to drive an Aerial Atom, and then of course, earlier, a month or so ago, I drove a uh, Toyota Celica uh, race prepped car. And the G forces in real life, you drive a car based off the G forces, based off what you're feeling through your bottom, rather than what's necessarily coming through the steering wheel. A steering wheel in real life does self-align. You do get information from the steering wheel in terms of uh, it does get lighter when the front's under steering. There, are, there is a lot of subtle information that does come through a real steering wheel, but the bulk of what you use to actually balance a car and drive it faster and, and have an expectation for what's going to go on comes through your bottom in a real car. So having a G-Force-like uh, abstraction that puts that through a DD wheel it's vital, it's so good, and it's what makes a driving simulator, for me, actually line up to, to reality. It, it, it makes it make sense. But, all, that's, all that aside, um, really nicely, obviously the, the lateral G-force setting in sim experience, all you get is the G-forces, which does mean that you know there are some aspects of it that aren't perfect, it does lack certain information, such as the steering getting lighter when you understeer, um, suspension compression and things it lacks that but really nicely if you run the lateral g-force along with the steering feedback foundation which is basically AccuForce, their entire sort of force feedback from the uh from the AccuForce wheel again all dri driven by the game telemetry it's all physics driven force feedback but it's sort of AccuForce is more dialed in uh force feedback that gives you force feedback for everything tire slip rotation where you know everything's including it not just g-forces combined with the lateral g-force setting and uh, i have to say running this instead of acc's d default force feedback utterly utterly transforms a set of course of competition in terms of what it's like to drive how intuitive it is how immersive it is and in my opinion how it how much it makes it actually feel more realistic like the, using this as opposed to the default games force feedback just makes it feel a hell of a lot more realistic in my mind lines up to my experience of my minimal experience of, of real world driving um you know it's still acc it still has acc physics you know the, the actual vehicles still handle the same i do find in acc that the, the tires can sometimes stay a bit over the limit a bit long like you kind of get locked in slides a little bit but, just like how IRFFB works with iRacing, if you have a preemptive load for like the, the, the say most of the G-forces, you have a good warning. You have like a sort of bum feel telekinesis for what you're doing, that you're, that for, for demanding more out of the car, which then preps you and then gives you much more of a, a sort of force feedback picture in your mind or in real life a g-force picture in your mind of what the car's capable of and what you're going to need to do to catch it which then allows you to sort of preemptively catch it and also initially you, you you know you drive all over the place like a lunatic it also actually makes it easier to then dial yourself in because you effectively know that the less force feedback you're feeling or the more gentle of the force feedback you're getting from the car the the smoother you're driving um so the real the real thing here is is that first of all let's just say well done to AccuForce or Sim, Sim Experience and AccuForce for this software um that's one point the fact that you can use this with any sim so if you've got an AccuForce wheel you can dial it on any sim which is a really nice option to have the the second one is Kunos, why, why don't you have any seat of the pants or lateral G-force force feedback built into the game so everyone could just have it with their current equipment? 
why why don't have that that didn't make any sense in my mind <laughs> what are you doing kudos ac force map was amazing what are you doing so that's the second one the third one is thrustmaster logitech fanatec why given that accuforce can do it and have done done it really well why don't you guys have a, a sort of at least a, a minimum some form of telemetry driven seat of the pants effect uh, also bear in mind that whoever did the mod for iRacing with the IIFFB with the seat of the pants thing they managed to, they managed to hack it into it as software so <laughs> why don't the this is what the joist the steering wheel manufacturers need to produce they need to sort that out it, it should be a thing or and the game developers ideally should should just put it in the game so what is going on <laughs> because because i have to say i've been uh, messing around with this all day today for like the last three or four hours i've been playing around with the aquaforce wheel with acc and various other simulators whilst whilst doing some uh, motion rig setup stuff oh my god the monitor's gonna fall off <laughs> okay Um, I have to say it everyone if you're in this sort of school of thought where ACC force feedback is is just not there for you and everything just feels a bit disconnected especially if you're an original set of Corsa fan or you really like the new race room force feedback which is fantastic and ACC just feels mute and not detailed enough for the forces that are used for practice driving this would totally change your mind for ACC it would, it would literally make a sim go from uh, that's really dull and rubbish to actually this is much more compelling and involving involving to drive <laughs> so just, I just, the whole thing just mind-boggling guys M massively good job from uh, from AccuForce with with these settings and you're lucky if you've got an if you've got an AccuForce wheel with the uh, with, <laughs> with the uh, with the settings on it so It'll be interesting to see if any if any of the uh, wheel manufacturers, if Kunos, if anyone could respond to this video that's in a position to actually rectify this situation. But um, seat of the pants forces, you definitely need them from force feedback, at least as an option in your driving simulators or from your sim hardware because it transforms everything. But yeah, hopefully guys, hopefully this little force feedback ranting video was entertaining and enjoyable for you. Um, you know, if it was, you know what you need to do. You need to click that like button. You need to subscribe. You need to hit the bell. And uh, leave a comment with what you think from this. But until the next one, happy tea drinking. And goodbye, everyone.